Hey guys, it's Jackie from Sacred Journeys. How are you? I want to thank you for everybody that's called and um, requested private readings. So I just want to let you know that I am available for private readings. But please, um, there's been a couple snafus. So if you want a private reading, email me too. Don't just send the, the PayPal, okay? So um, email me at Jackie.Delamar at Yahoo.com. And that way I'll know that you sent me a payment because my PayPal is a little bit messed up that it doesn't notify me when there's been payment made. So for whatever reason, it doesn't. So please give me either give me a call and schedule a, a private phone reading or if you want to just send me um, the PayPal and an email stating your question or questions and I will email you back with pictures of the cards that I pull. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So thanks, guys. That's really cool to work with you remotely or on the phone. It's been a blessing. So anyway, I feel like it's time to do another reading. Today is the 7th of July, 7-7-2017. So isn't that cool? So the cards that have been coming out for today are number one, Justice. Number two, Balance. And number three, the Knight of Fire which you know I love the Night of Fire. <laughs> so anyway, let's see what the cards are saying to us. What are they saying to us? So it feels like today is a day of justice, 7 7 17. What great numbers anyway. But yeah, so whatever you're doing today, just it feels like there may be some opportunity for you to make things right. That's what it feels like for, for some of you, for sure. Like if there's been a, a issue that has been kind of dragged its feet, it's time to make things right. If you have any kind of control over that situation, do your part to make sure th things are fair and legit and um, on the up and up. And it also feels like there may be, if there's an opportunity to almost uh, really be honest, bring everything for forward, right? Because sometimes we kind of withhold information thinking we're going to get away with it. But you know what? We never get away with anything like that because it's not in integrity and it's always going to come back and bite you in the butt. So it feels like for some of you out there, it's time to just lay all your cards on the table and just get it over with, right? You know, it's better to, it's better to say, you know what? Yes. I did do that, or yes, I did lie to you, or yes, whatever. Own up to what you do. It's it's really it's really better in the long run if you just own up to it. Now, people still may not trust you in the future, but at least your conscience is clear, okay? So it's for somebody, just it's time to really dial it in and be be a person of integrity. And the second card is about balance. So where are you needing to be in balance in your life? Um, yeah, it feels like, especially with the justice card, justice is the balance, right? The scales, justice is the scales, and this is about balance. So again, it's talking about, or it feels to me that it's talking about being in integrity and being in balance. And then, yeah, let the cards fall where they may and let just walk in what, what you know is truth always walk in truth and walk in balance, walk in integrity. Huh? This is really interesting. So someone out there is maybe struggling with something that you may be withholding something. You feel like you can't be honest about something. Well, I heard, highly encourage you to be honest about whatever's going on. Um, interesting. Huh? And this is interesting because, you know, the other day I had breakfast with a friend of mine who I met briefly in a different place and um and I knew there was something going on with him and he told me at breakfast the other day he's like yeah I, I need to tell you something this is this is this and I'm like huh I already knew that because <laughs> I knew it because my knowing knew it so if that story can help anybody out there people already know if you have not been truthful people who are in tune with their higher sense and self, you know, people can tell if you're not being honest. So just do everyone a favor and just be honest with what's going on. Okay. It's really going to save you a lot of heartache and embarrassment or whatever in the, in the long run. And plus you don't want to lose your, 
uh, your integrity, your, um, you know, like if people think you're a liar, then you're never going to have, it's going to be hard to change their minds. So I don't know. Whoever's out there, please, please walk in integrity, walk in balance, because there is something coming quickly for you. So this is also this is also about being in balance with yourself, not about those around you even. Um, I mean, that is important as well, but be honest with yourself, it feels like, and make sure that everything is on the up and up for you. This also feels like maybe it's a warning for you to check in, like, does anything feel out of place in your environment? Does there something feel off? I don't know. That's that's another that's the other side of the coin, right? You know, you want to be in integrity with others, but you also want to make sure that if you're having a red flag about how other people are interacting with you, whether it's business or just conversation or, you know, possible investment situations or anything like that, just if you have any kind of red flag, pay attention to those things and do your homework and make sure things are on the up and up, especially if it's legal. Because justice card implies legal situations. So if you're before you sign any documents, before you invest any money, before you um, do anything that has to do with anything legal, like if, where there's an attorney involved or uh, an accountant or anything like that, please make sure that it's on the up and up. Um, so anyway, that's a whole different side of that coin. But however, something's coming up for everyone that's watching this video because this is a select video for whoever feels drawn to watch it. And for you guys, there's something coming. There's the Knight of Fire and he's offering something quick and exciting and spontaneous. And it's like, whoa, this is awesome. It feels exciting. So again, this is where this jumps in. Make sure that even though it sounds exciting, it sounds fun, it sounds like a, a chance of a lifetime, make sure things are legit, okay? Because, you know, sometimes those things can sound really cool, and they probably are, but how often can you get carried away with something and realize, wow, somebody just totally bullshitted me. <laughs> I just gave them whatever amount of money or they just took off with my car and wow, they've been gone a week. Um, are they coming back? I don't know. Like, you know, something like that. So really just if there's something or someone coming in hard and fast and excitable and, you know, really like a magician, a manipulator, just make sure that they're legit. I mean, this could be a wonderful time and I'm not saying it couldn't be. I'm just saying it feels like there needs to be there needs to be some, uh, I don't know, just take your time. Take your time. Make sure things are on the up and up. Um, that's all. I don't, I don't know why. I just feel like that's really an important message for today, for whoever's watching this. Make sure that you know what's going on. And I feel like I want to clarify where, what else do they need to know, angels? What else do they need to know today? Mm, ten of air. So something's coming to an end. So that's interesting. Something is coming to an end. Ah, so it might actually be a legal matter. Like I was saying, it's got to be uh, make sure that everything is legit. Um, if there's an attorney involved, make sure that Make sure that your attorney is a man of honor or a woman of honor, because that's not always the case, you know. Um, I don't know, it just feels like there's something coming to an end and it's coming quick. So, but it could be good. I mean, this could actually be a blessing in disguise. So, a difficult time. This, this could speak of a difficult time coming to an end. And with that coming to an end, this may come in as a new opportunity for you. But just make sure everything is as it's presented, okay? So you're going to have to do your homework a little bit, okay? That's what it feels like. And be balanced in all things. Be balanced between your passion and your wisdom and your knowledge and in your integrity. But the balance, there's two scales here. So... 
Hmm. That's interesting. All right, guys. Well, I just want to tell you again, thanks again for everything, everyone that's contacted me for a reading. It's been an honor and a pleasure to read for you. And yeah, so give me a call or give me an email, jackie.delamar at yahoo.com if you'd like a personal reading with me. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Take care.